my name is Rhea, and if you guys are here, hi, my name is Rhea. So today you guys might have been thinking, oh, is this a guinea pig video? I thought it was going to be. Yes, it is. But I just want to talk about some stuff first, and then we'll get to the guinea pigs. So, our caravan site is opening. So my mum got them a hatch. It should be here next week. Um... And now my guinea pigs are indoor guinea pigs, but at the same time they will now be indoor and outdoor guinea pigs. So, um, yeah, they're going to be indoor and outdoor guinea pigs. So whenever we go down to the caravan, they will not be indoors. They will be outdoors at the caravan. Um, and then we're going to put like a protection sheet on just to make sure that like no predators get into them. No, like at night we're gonna put like a waterproof like thing over them. I don't know what it is. Like a waterproof like blanket or something. I honestly don't even know what it is. Um, like oh, a waterproof cover. I think that's what it is. <laughs> um, so yeah. So at the same time, they'll be outdoor and indoor guinea pigs. Now right now I am outside. Um, you might be thinking, oh. I suppose that means that the guinea pigs are outside. Yes. <laughs> the guinea pigs are outside and my doggy is over there. I don't know if you can see him. And the other dog's over there. He's really interested in guinea pigs, but he can definitely not get into them because it is a metal cage and he just can't get in. He, no, he tries to dig through the grass, but he only tugs up grass and he doesn't actually get the mud. Um, so... He's a bit of a daft dog. <laughs> um, and Toby's the older one, so he doesn't really bother with them, but Benny does. So yeah, let me just get shit into showing you guys the guinea pigs. Okay. So, as you guys can see, this is a little bar thing. So I can open the bar. Whenever the guinea pigs are not in here, the dogs like to go in there and see and have a little look around <laughs> once Toby stuck his head if I can show you guys so if you guys can see don't know if you can yeah that we hold there's one on the other side in there and Toby decided to stick his head in it oh oh no way he goes and Toby decided to stick his head in it and no his head didn't get stuck because it's not that big enough but here pick quick do you want me to move that no Wow. <laughs> oh, and um, Blue jumped on the other side because there is a wee hole over there. And he jumped up. <laughs> Aww. My dad actually built this up for them. So he made sure that there were no splinters in it. We sanded it all down and made sure that there weren't any splinters. And then he built it. So it's a two story little house for them. And this is only for outdoors. So yeah. They've got a little high rack over there. They've got a water bottle. And we've got Benny. Benny. <laughs> and then we've got Toby. <laughs> Bye. They care more about the car than the guinea pigs, I suppose. <laughs> so. Oh, that's slow. So it looks like a pretty good angle with the guinea pigs. Now I can sit here with the door open. As long as I'm here, they will. I will supervise them if the door is open. But obviously, if it is closed, I will get back inside. Um. Oh my word! There's so many messages. Okay. So then they've got their hay rack and their water bottle, and you can see because little butt. <laughs> And then you can see Pickle <laughs> That disappears when you see blue <laughs> Kitty Okay So they actually don't have anything in the tree in here They just like to eat the grass We, My dad actually cut the grass So there isn't Like the grass isn't really that Like nice if you know what I mean It's like all 
a different color. <laughs> no, it is green, but it's starting to turn into like hay. So it is. Is that a hi pick whip? <laughs> you can see my dog over there. Come on, Pickle, you can jump. <laughs> oh, baby, baby, baby. Okay, I'm gonna close this. I really hate buzzing things, they scare me. Oh, where'd it go? Anyway, just closed it and say hello, Benny. Say hello, you aren't scared of anything. And then, and away he goes. And that is, I can show you guys. It's Toby all the way up there, itching his ear. <laughs> What's a bit shaky. I hear the bee again. And we're back. So what I got, what I have over the guinea pigs is like a little net thing. So this is where like if they get too warm, they can go there. This bit is like the shady part. So they can go under there for some shade. If they are too warm. If they're too cold, they can come over to the warmth, and if they're too warm, they can go over to the shady part. Ew. One of them peed. Disgusting. You guys, it looks red on the camera around it, but it's actually not. It's just the wetness. It looks red on the camera, but trust me, you guys, it is not blood. It's just because the wood, it looks like blood on the camera. It looks red, but trust me, you guys, it's not red. I have had them, like, have red stuff on their white house before. I honestly don't know what it is, but, yeah. They, it ha I ha they haven't did it in, like, a long time, so I'm not going to jinx it because whenever you jinx something, it might mean that it might happen. I think. <laughs> so you guys, I hope you guys have an outdoor play pen for your guinea pigs. Um, if you don't, I would really recommend to get one. No, I, I would not recommend to put them in between your legs if you have a guinea pig like Pickle. Because he likes to try and escape. <laughs> um, out of your legs, he likes to try and escape. So, if you have a guinea pig like him, please do not put them in between your legs outside. Because me and my sister did it once with them. And he's doing book green. Um, but me and my sister did it once with them. Um, um, I went to go catch Pickle. But he just decided. Oh, no. He's coming up to the camera. Here, I'm going to close this just to make sure that he doesn't get out. So you guys... Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, we, me and my sister had the guinea pigs once. I, in between our legs, it was a really hot day. Um, me and my sister had a water fight that day, I think. Um, but, yeah, and he is now going to lie down. We are now lying down, eating the grass. Very convenient. <laughs> yeah, so me and my sister had them out one day. And I went to go catch Pickle and he tried to run away. Now, luckily, I caught him with all of my might before he ran away. Um, so, yeah. Yum! Pickwick! But I can go right to the other side here, you guys. And show you. This side, say hi, Benny. <laughs> you can see little blue blue in there. Alright guys, this is a metal cage, so Benny and the other doggy cannot, Toby cannot get into it because it is a metal cage. Now, Benny will try to scrape up the grass, but he does not get to the dirt. I don't know if I've already mentioned that or not, but there you go again if you missed it. And the blue is, sorry it's a bit dark in there. Oh yeah, you can't really see him, but... Blue is in there. You can see the ginger and you can see the white. Blue uh, blue is actually blonde as well. So he is. 
underneath them. Sorry, you guys, my face is like dirty. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but you know, I'll clean my. Um, yeah, there is loads of poops in there. It's pretty kind of disgusting. <laughs> Why does Blue remind me of like a Smurf? It's like, that is pure mean. I'm away. <laughs> You guys can't see the blonde on him, but underneath his leg, it's blonde. My sister was holding him because we had them out in the kitchen. And she realized that he had blonde on him. So, then I tried to look on Pickle for any cool of her features. No, he doesn't have any more. But, you something to learn about them every day. You know about them every day. I actually have blue. So, you guys, some story time. Benny, would it be okay if I sat here beside you? That's good lighting. I think that's good lighting. So, guys, story time. Okay. Oh. So, I, this morning, you know, I was doing some schoolwork. And then I went to get changed because I finished the bit of schoolwork that I needed to do. So, you guys, then I went to go get changed. I thought... Why not bring Blue up to my bedroom? So what I did is I brought Blue up to my bedroom. Now, I, I set him on my bed, but you guys, I didn't have a blanket down. But he didn't poo or pee. Then I lifted him up, got a blanket, put it on my bed, set him on the blanket. He liked to enter, but he just kind of sat in that one spot. <laughs> um, or lay in that one spot, but... Um, Lee was on an adventure today, and then I got changed, and then took him back downstairs, and then put him in his cage, and my mom gave Pickle some hay. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. You guys, it's not sore. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. <coughs> you know whenever you get like that, like something's blocking your throat? Got that, you guys don't worry, my throat is perfectly fine. It's all good. Um but no. Ew, it's cold. Oh I thought I thought it was wet, it's cold. But you guys. Um yeah, my mom gave Pickle some hay. She wondered where Blue was. She thought that he was in his bed, but he wasn't. He was up with me. I was coming down and my mom was like, I gave Pickle some hay, he was doing popcorn and all. Blue just tried to light on. Yeah. Hey, Benny. So Benny's a bob. So Benny's a bob. Wait, guys, he absolutely hates being blown. <laughs> Wait, let me show you. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> You're so cutie pie. You're so cutie pie. Yeah. You're a real cute pie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Nice. Tony! <laughs> yeah, you guys, this is what I mean. He tries. And tries so hard to get into them. Benny, I have to break it, do you? Can't get in. <laughs> you got something on your paw. There you go. Can't get into the Benny. Oh, yes, you guys, I just want to say one thing. So, practically, you guys, if you have an outdoor cage for your guinea pig, which you actually should have, um, and I, the grass has daisies. Well, I would take the daisies out. Now, they can eat a certain type of flower. I don't know what it is. Dandelions or something? No. I'm not sure what it is, you guys, but you can look it up what fruit. 
you can look up what flowers guinea pigs can eat, um, but honestly, I can't remember. I think they can only eat one, I can't remember, but you guys, if you have daisies where your playpen is for them, please take the daisies out because daisies can kill your guinea pig because daisies are, they can't eat daisies. They have like a toxic thing in them. I looked it up. No, so they cannot eat daisies. So every time I see daisies in their playpen, I take the daisies out. Um. Uh, oh yes, you guys. If you guys can't get your like netting to stay on, use some clothes pegs. I've got them all around. So use some clothes pegs. I really recommend it. So you guys, I think that is all I have for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on them post notifications. So every time I post a new video, you guys are notified. And make sure whenever you hit that bell, the bell is on all. Um, and thank you guys if you guys are already subscribed and you didn't unsubscribe because I wasn't posting. I'm thankful for that. Um, I really wanted to get posted in new videos. So yeah, say bye bye, Benny. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.